she has helped me to network and find mentors that have been very critical through every stage of my career. And as I've progressed further in my career, AICHE has helped me to serve as a leader within my scientific community and within the Women in Chemical Engineering Committee. If I weren't a chemical engineer, I would be an auto mechanic because I enjoy working with my hands and get a large sense of satisfaction using my understanding of how a device works to help diagnose and solve problems. To date, my mechanic skills are mainly gained from YouTube, but I hope to make some time soon for some formal training. With any luck, that will be before retirement. AICHC has helped me by providing a venue and environment that's allowed me to connect with other chemical engineers that share similar research interests. This has been a huge help to my career development because it's allowed me to build long-term collaborations and relationships with other chemical engineers that have similar overlapping interests, but also expertise in other areas that complement my own. So I'd like my professional legacy to include bringing people together in new ways, whether it's for science or for fun. Um, that way we get to learn more about each other and the different problems that we solve. That way we can come up with interdisciplinary solutions. So I really look forward to the next time that we can all be together in person. And until then, thanks so much for the audience. Bye. I would like my professional legacy to be that of a compassionate educator, engineer, innovator, and servant leader. I hope to be recognized for my research contributions that improve inhalable medicines, for my outstanding students with accomplishments that leapfrog my own, and for being a thought leader and positive change agent who champion science, integrity, science communication, and inclusion and equity while inspiring those around me to do the same. I would like my professional legacy to be simply to help others in particular, my dream is to discover novel classes of antibiotics by means of computers. AICHE has helped me by providing a community networking support, first as an undergraduate, then as a PhD student, postdoc, faculty candidate, educator, and research group leader. I would like my professional legacy as someone who did what she loved and loved what she did. As someone who uh, developed next generation energy technologies, solved complex scientific problems, and advanced the field of her research in the area. ASCHT has helped me by providing a platform for my team to reach a broad audience with a diverse background in the chemical engineering community. Engineers often get a bad rap for their writing abilities, but I love reading and writing and helping people share their stories. When we find our voices as chemical engineers, it's much easier for us to have a broader impact on the world. My lab is developing a paradigm in which carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water can be converted into a wide range of chemicals using renewable electricity. Specifically, we electrically facilitate the molecular level dance through which chemical bonds are broken and formed. We hope that electrifying steps of chemical reactions will enable sustainable, local, and modular chemical manufacturing. If I weren't a chemical engineer, I would be working for the National Park Services or the Forest Services because I love spending time in the wilderness and I'm very passionate about nature and wildlife conservation. I would like my professional legacy to be the students that I train. One of the great privileges of this job is that I can help students grow in their scholarship, I'm both teaching students at the undergraduate level so they can have the skills to be successful in their careers as practicing engineers and at the graduate level where they're developing their identities as independent scholars. I would like my professional legacy to be built on training the next generation of engineers, scientists, and thinkers who can one day solve at least one of the most pressing challenges of current society by providing widespread healthcare technologies If I weren't a chemical engineer, then I think I would be an ecologist because I love nature, I love being outside, 
and I also love studying how different things are connected. Being an ecologist would give me an opportunity to spend time outside in the field and also study the connections of the natural world in a different way. Professionally, I would like my legacy to be that I've contributed something positive to the world, both through my research and through my teaching and my students as well. I would like to also one day um, contribute something to the community, especially with regards to addressing educational inequality, which is an issue I've grown increasingly interested in over the past couple of years. Thank you very much. If I weren't a chemical engineer, I'd be a recipe developer because I simply love food. Not only is it a means for survival, but it's also a representation of our cultural identities and foundation for many shared experiences. Bon appétit! As a PhD student and now as a professor, it's always been a yearly highlight for me to attend the AICHE national meetings, to meet colleagues and friends, to meet new people whose papers I've read and admired, and to catch up on the most exciting areas of research in my field, as well as to learn about other fields. I would like my professional legacy to be someone who contributed to solving the energy crisis of access to clean, and sustainable energy resources. I want my professional reckoning to come from leading the creation of competitive advantage in the energy sector through digitalization and technology integration. My research links chemical engineering and industry ecology to develop analytical tools that can support engineering decisions or policy making towards a more sustainable and environmentally friendly direction. AICHE has provided a constant source of professional support to introduce me to the extraordinary possibilities of being a chemical engineer. Through the organization, there are opportunities to present and hear about cutting edge research, opportunities to network with industry and academia, and opportunities to define the future of chemical engineering education. If I weren't a chemical engineering professor, I would run a taco stand because I love tacos. Or I'd be a lily farmer because I love lilies. Or both! If I weren't a chemical engineer, I would probably be a philosopher because I enjoy puzzling over fundamental questions about the nature of the world that we live in. In fact, I see what I do as kind of an extension of natural philosophy. As a leader, empowering people means helping my team achieve all that they're capable of, which requires me to lean into vulnerability and humility. It also means building out equitable systems, like what we've done at Membryon, where 58% of my employees are women and 42% are people of color. I recognize that I wouldn't be in this position without an incredible amount of privilege. And I'm looking forward to whoever is willing to join me as we continue building an equitable community for all chemical engineers. If I hadn't been a chemical engineer, I think I would have chosen to have been an economist. In chemical engineering, and I think as an economist, you get to play around with a lot of different data, you get to and you get to design experiments. Two of my favorite things to do, uh, and I think I would have uh, really enjoyed uh, a, a career as an economist as well, based on that. Being involved with AICHE, I've found the community very, uh, very open to new ideas, uh, always trying to innovate uh, itself and, and having tremendous opportunity to contribute. It's a, it's a wonderful place to grow yourself personally and professionally, at the same time shaping the field that you are passionate about, and nothing can be more satisfying than that. I was a great debater when I was in college. I did seriously consider to be a lawyer. But then I encountered a more exciting career as a data scientist. Now I can still discover the underlying truths and convincing people, which is similar to what lawyers do. What is even more interesting, I can also develop and apply mathematical methods to aid this purpose. in AICHE, I've had the opportunity to form long-lasting friendships with chemical engineers across the globe. 
Going to national meetings and seeing friends I've met along the way has been one of the best unexpected perks of being part of AICHE. If I were not a chemical engineer, I would definitely be a professional soccer player. A goalkeeper, to be specific. I still play soccer and I enjoy the game. In fact, I was a semi-professional goalkeeper growing up, but chemical engineering came and pushed everything aside. So here I am, a chemical engineer who plays soccer. Five adjectives that people have used to describe me are passionate, empathetic, team player, relaxed, determined, and rule breaker. If I were not a chemical engineer, uh, I think I'd be a private investigator. I'm very observant, I enjoy problem solving, and I'm not easily deterred, so I feel like I'd have the patience to carefully study my subjects. If I were not a chemical engineer, I would aspire to be a professional musician. I've been a performing singer-songwriter for quite some time now, and I really enjoy how music has this mathematical structure and backbone that within that framework can also meet human emotions and feelings to convey important stories that can connect people. So something that I've always really enjoyed doing and something I would absolutely do more of if I wasn't doing engineering full time. I want my professional legacy to be that I'm a relentless problem solver and that each and every day I have shown my passion for people, safety, and sustainability. That I've taken every opportunity to drive businesses and programs to deliver the best possible consumer product good at the lowest environmental impact.